Imagine you had three Grammy Awards. We're getting ready to pass the elementary school that my twins went to. A star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And the pretty little library I was telling you about is right there. Look at it. And 12 top 20 hits. Here's the Hopedale Firehouse. Hey, guys! Hopedale, Massachusetts and Worcester County might seem an odd place to live the pop star life. And I go, why are you here? <laughs> Pointer of the famous Pointer Sisters still killing it after all these years. I'm killing it and it's killing me. <laughs> the last surviving Pointer Sister, Ruth performs the hits these days with her daughter Issa and granddaughter Sadako. When it feels right. We don't do tours, you know, quote unquote tours. That that's really tough. Ruth is, after all, no teenager anymore. I'm 77. Ah! <laughs> and proud, because I've worked for it. I've earned it. The Pointer Sisters spent the 80s picking up a slew of gold and platinum records. Along the way, Ruth also picked up some bad habits. Well, I mean, I've had a wonderful life, but I've been through some shit too now. And, you know, I just always kind of want to get better. I just want to get better. You know, it goes along with my recovery from drugs and alcohol to my recovery in, the, in a food program. Sobriety in the late 80s led to a new marriage and the birth of twins when Ruth was 47. And that's when we decided to move to New England because he's from Milford. Goodbye, Malibu. Hello, Milford, Mass, where Ruth and her husband moved in with his mother for some help with the new arrivals, her fourth and fifth children. Ruth's good friend, the late singer Natalie Cole, reached out with congratulations. And Natalie called and said, girl, I got to see them babies. I'm, I'm on my way back from Italy, and I got some gifts for the babies, and I, I want to know where you are. Soon enough, a black limousine crawled down Congress Terrace in Milford. She said, I cannot believe you're living in here. I said, yeah, well, hey, I got babies, girl. You know, I'm not trying to be on Rodeo Drive right now. But a funny thing happened during this midlife timeout. Ruth found she liked the rhythms of life away from the limelight. She and her husband, Mike, built a new home in neighboring Hopedale and settled in. Ruth worked on her autobiography. Today, she jets off to the occasional gig, but looks forward to coming back to her quiet life in Hopedale. As much as I enjoy what I do, and I do enjoy it, once I come off stage, I just want to go somewhere and be me. I love to read and uh, watch documentaries and things like that. You know, I love Chronicle. <laughs> but for someone who professes to like the quiet life, yes! oh! this 77 year old rocks it like she's 17 when she gets behind the wheel. And I have a party in my car. If Ruth loves herself some good Motown, she also loves life in her adopted hometown. Small town America, here we go. Hey now, you know, I used to see it in movies and read about it in books, and so to live in it, it's, it's, it's calming. Yeah, sing girl, sing, honey. <laughs> She is infectious, Woo! as you said. She's just incredible. <laughs> and of course, the Pointer Sisters known for their 80s dance hits, Jump mm. for My Love, and I'm so excited. Great songs. Love that. But actually, they won their first Grammy for Best Country Vocal Performance <laughs> in 1975, beating out Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, and Rita Coolidge. Wow. They remain the only black women to have won a country Grammy. I did not know that. Mm. Quite impressive. Coming up, a cheerleading squad with experience on their side.